Okay you guys, so in this video I am going to be tapping and scratching through another section of the stone shop that I showed you. This side of the, the shop has lots of different kind of souvenir items like these boxes and many other things. And so I hope you enjoy all of the sounds and sight. These are papyrus and um, basically you take the papyrus and there's designs and pictures and artwork on them and you can purchase those and put them on your walls at home as artwork. Lots of different magnets that say Egypt on them, have different you know, famous Egypt things, all the different pharaohs and such. These are some of the beads. If you want to hear more of these sounds, go check out the stone shop that I did recently. So these are shops that are inside of, well, inside, they're outside because it's an outdoor market in Egypt. A famous marketplace called Hana Khalili. It's awesome, very magical. There are lanterns and jewelry and dresses and all the things that you can imagine in this very magical outdoor marketplace. It's it's like a permanent marketplace and some shops um, are like this can be closed, others are kind of um, a bit more exposed. They all have a way to kind of protect their items and close their doors, but it's all like you walk through corridors that are outside. You're not in an inside mall type settings. It's just magical. These boxes are very common to find as souvenirs. Those are little coasters. And this is alabaster. Alabaster is famous in Egypt and it, I, you know, I can't say that I know a ton about it but I do know that um, you can find a lot of alabaster in Egypt like souvenir shops because it's quite, I guess, it's um, a resource found in Egypt. You've got to love all the pyramids. There's so many different kinds of pyramids, designs, colours textures that you can purchase and they almost always will come in a set of three and that is because there are three large pyramids if you visit the pyramids of Giza along with the Sphinx and they are sort of set up <laughs> where there's like a small medium and large pyramid um, so they sell them in those sizes. There's always three in. One is small, one is medium, and one is large. We've got these little monkeys. So lots of like essentially decorations you can take home from Egypt that will remind you of your trip. And remind you of Egypt in some way. These are small pyramids, so many of them. They were just like in baskets on the floor. Those actually might be alabaster, I'm not sure. Some plastic bags which sound great. Beautiful colours of different stones. There were a few stones on this side of his shop as well. So actually, um, 
the store owner, he let us like close the shop so I could film inside and I thought I had to film it all in 20 minutes so I kind of did all that and then he said oh, if you want to take a little bit longer you can but it has to be only on this side and he was referring to this side that I'm showing you now so that's why there's a bit more footage of this particular side than the other I don't know why he said I could only film longer on this side but I went with it because I was just thankful he was letting us film in his shop all the different pharaoh busts, I guess you could say. Some wings. These wings sound great. So if you walk through this marketplace, you'll find that a lot of stores do have overlapping items. So you could find quite a few of these exact things in other stores in this marketplace. So there is like a good amount of competition for your attention as you walk through. A lot of people will be kind of shouting out to you to come into their store and welcome you to show you all the items and um, to, to sell things to you. sweet and friendly and outgoing and excited to show you their shops. Very colourful designs on that one. Some you will find like these where you can really see the papyrus and others are totally coloured. This is a figurine of a camel. Carved out really nicely. And the cool thing about these items is like they're not factory made, they're, they're almost always handmade. Not like 100% of the time is my understanding, but a lot of the time. They're handmade items. This actually sounded quite hollow on the inside, I thought that was interesting, I'm not sure what it's made from. This is an elephant. It's very, um, what's the word? Ornately designed. The um, trunk of the elephant there. Oh, how it's signed on the back side there. Nice white stone that's been carved. And these are just for decoration. This guy, I looked up and I saw a monkey giving me the finger. You know, I was a bit, a bit surprised, honestly. <laughs> it's funny. They've got these knives there that are real knives. and the alabaster I think these are just like little balls I don't know if you like put a candle in them, I'm not sure I've had some jewellery kind of spilling onto this side but again, if you want to see all the jewellery and stones you can check out the stone shop video that I put out I could just make a whole video of that thing, so good. But I'll show you some sounds like this in the belly dancing uh, dress shop. I will do a video there as well. So you can get more of those jingly sounds. 
they've got these little bookmarks made of papyrus that they sometimes will just give to people for free as they kind of like to kind of bring them into the shop. There's so many different designs of these beautiful boxes. I liked seeing all the different colours and designs and getting to tap on these pyramids up close. I've shown you in a few videos the different pyramids but haven't been able to touch them really until now. Here's some of the black stone figurines. There are some here um, that are apparently glow in the dark. The, the horses um, in particular are apparently glow in the dark. I don't know if these beside them are. Those back there, just like you can just also purchase just like one large pyramid. The ones in the back there, like this one. I like all the different designs. I like that like black and white checkered one. I don't know if you saw it there in the corner, up the left corner earlier. They just had them like in piles in these little baskets on the ground that you could kind of rummage through and pick from. I remember when I came to Egypt for the first time, I just like wanted one of them and uh, I couldn't get just one, like they had to come in their set of three. More figurines, these kind of like Egyptian dogs, if you will, kind of in that sort of that same stance like the Sphinx is in. You can see some of like hieroglyphics on these pyramids. Looks like this is where they put some of their jewellery together. These were a bit hard to reach to but I wanted to show you. Is that wall of magnets and then they have this blue stone and a green stone that they've carved into lots of different designs and figurines different mugs that you can get for people it's fun to bring things back to people and have it be something practical that they can actually use you know so a mug for someone who drinks coffee is, you know, an option. Mm, just wanted to kind of pull back so you kind of see how many, how many things are kind of stuffed onto the, the shelves there. This is the horse I was talking about earlier that's actually glow in the dark. So I do know that the, these are glow in the dark. I, I don't know if everything that's surrounding them in that same, what looks like the same colour stone is also, but these certainly are. I was told that afterwards, and that, um, I don't know, I might get the chance to film with some kind of uh, glow-in-the-dark figurines. I don't know for sure on that one though, but I was told there's a shop that has some more of those. And believe it or not, 
I put these nails on prior to finding that out and the black and white nails, the striped black and white nails you can see, two on each hand. They are glow in the dark actually. <laughs> so that might be kind of cool. We shall see if we can make that happen. This is like an alligator that's also made of stone, carved in great detail, and it's just, you know, hanging from the roof of this shop. I would imagine it's quite expensive. Do you guys hear a bit of music in the background there? I asked the store owner if we could turn the music off in his shop, so that's why there's no music playing, so he could hear better. And you know, he, we closed the doors and locked in, locked the shop to the public for some time, so I could film. But it's nice because then you don't have all of the sounds. Normally, you would hear lots of people and music and such, which is wonderful, of course, if you're there in person. But to show you guys a video, I wanted it to be bit more quiet for ASMR. A little camel ashtray I think is what's going on there. Another rock or stone. There's a bit of plastic on this that I liked. The sound of So we have reached nearly the end of the video, so thank you guys so much for watching this little shop tap through. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the items and like I said I will be trying to get more videos out in little shops at this outdoor marketplace for you guys. So if you've got into the end, um, Let's go ahead and put an emoji in the comments to signify that you've made it to the end with me. Let's go for an alligator, because of that giant stone alligator. So let's go ahead and put the alligator or crocodile in the comment section if you've gotten to the end. Or if you don't have emojis, you can just write crocodile and I will, I will receive your message that way too. So thank you again for everything and thank you to the shop owner and the few friends who's helped me do this and I look forward to seeing you guys in another video. Bye for now.